Zoe, show me what you got. Good fit. Misha, get down. This is Misha trying it out for the first time. A little bit excited. Kaisers. His is a little bit tight. We got to loosen it. But Welcome, welcome once again. Another exciting review from Mr. Nobody. My friends call me Joe. If you want to help the channel, like, subscribe, comment. That will definitely help get you on the friends list. Today, dog harnesses. We're going to look at the dog harnesses that I have on my German Shepherd of Charka, the Russian Bear Dog, and a St. Bernard. Two of them are light harnesses. One of them is a large, heavy, can carry quite a bit. Looking on the One Tigress, none of this is sponsored, just my personal opinion, where we talk about just about anything if it'll help add another level of preparedness and keep you surviving those apocalypses, whether those be alien invasions, zombies, simian overlords, who knows. All right, so I'm looking at the, the latest site and they don't actually have the ones that I'm going to review. But it looks like they've kind of churched them up a little bit, more padding around the belly. This looks pretty similar. This one's pretty cl a little bit closer to what I'm going to look at. And then this is about a three-quarter of what Zoe has, but a lot more belly protection. On this 10 best tactical dog harnesses list, this one Tigris Molly vest, the number three on the list, this is the same one that I have for Zoe. And it gives pros 1000D nylon construction, dirt, water, and abrasion resistance. Two rows of Molly straps on each side, lots of Velcro, three multi function pouches, two grab handles. They are a little more expensive and then the stitch quality I'll show you some stitching in the video stick around all right uh, let's go check in with the dogs look at the gear I'll show you what I have my pouches what's in the pouches so stick around and here's the rig for Kaiser Soze chest piece comes up there's some velcro for a patch got a glow-in-the-dark one for him he has a small first aid kit, the round one, and then the poop bag, and then the, the bag ring, which is basically essential. These. Then when they fill these up, you tie it off and put it to this. They carry their own shit with them. Uh, same kind of setup as the others. This one is for the German Shepherd. And it's a light rig, so... Just enough for him to have something on him, carry his poop bag, a little first aid kit, something like that. This one is a medium. And then this is the one for our late Great Dane, Zeus, who was a little over 175 pounds. And that's an extra large setup. Same thing, lots of patches and stuff. Both of these came with the, the shot cord in it. The light rigs did. I got the same bag set up, the same poop ring holder for him as I do for Kaiser right here. But the shot cord doesn't come with, it didn't come with this one. I had to add it for the, the large saddlebag one versus the short, lighter vest one. But so far, uh, this one was really good on the Saint Bernard or, or the Great Dane. Real comfortable, looked good on him. Uh, no chafing issues or anything like that. I don't have a video of that. We're gonna adapt this over and put this on the Caucasian Shepherd, so Misha will get this one. And then I'm probably also gonna get Misha a large saddlebag like Zoe, and then set it up for her. Kaiser, he doesn't do the saddlebag well. And this light bag is basically just to kind of give him a small little backpack. Mostly to carry his shit so I don't have to. Good quality. 
no complaints. Plastic buckles, uh, single stitching, like all of the other One Tigers on the outside. But then when you get to the hooks and handles, everything's been reinforced. Reinforced. Same on this extra large. Reinforced. Single stitching. Reinforced. And then the single stitching around. Nothing's broken on any of these. And while they don't wear it every day, all day, Woods tearing them up, they've used it quite a bit. Kaiser, probably most of it, and Zoe. And her stays really clean, but she doesn't really get in trouble. Misha's is looking like it fits well. Good. And then Zoe, of course, hers fits great. She loves it. What do you think, girls, kids? Extra large setup, one tigress. Go in the dark eyes on the back so I can see her at night a little bit close. Three pouches on each side. The first two, canteen, canteen, canteen in the center. This pouch here holds dog food and a toy, first aid kit, and then a miscellaneous pouch. The three canteens work well to ballast the bag. If she eats food, I can take some water out and it keeps it, because if it's not balanced, it'll move uncomfortably for her, but this works pretty good. I've tried a lot of different setups and each dog is a little bit different the way they walk and play and what they, you know, if they jump a lot or try to roll or whatever. So I have each one set up differently. Ziploc bag full of food. And then toy. The toy is mostly just to help fill out the bag a little bit. This is all Velcro. Some pretty secure attachment points on the top, the front and back handle. And then I've attached this shock cord and then I wove it throughout so that when she wears this, if I have a, an extra layer, I can roll it up, slide it on top of her real quick and she'll carry it for me. I also have the poop bag with the little disposable bags. And then there's also this piece right here, which just hooks on. And then if I have to pick up her stuff, then I'll just tie it in a knot, pull it through this and hook it. And then she'll carry that with her. First aid kit on top is gloves. We have quick clot, small packages. Alcohol preps, some band-aids, antibiotic stuff. Again, some antibiotic cream, more band-aids, a little bit of gauze, larger clotting sponge, quick clot, alcohol preps. And then miscellaneous tape, gauze, lots of gauze, stuff like that. And then the miscellaneous pouch, I have some gloves for my daughters couple tennis balls to play with and then in the bottom we have a bowl that folds out and then some 550 cord and then I this will also work with the first aid kit for a tourniquet or something along those lines just in case but that's that's what she carries max a lot of times this is downplayed maybe just to the harness or we'll fill the bottles up and make it heavy if we're looking for a little bit of a workout. This harness, it, it's robust, it's sturdy. It's on a large dog. She's not uncomfortable when she wears it. Uh, I recommend it. I, I 
I use it. Depends on what you're doing. A lot of room for patches and other stuff in here. You can do a lot of different setups. As a St. Bernard, she's used to being a working dog. So she actually kind of enjoys it. It feels like she has a job that day. And, you know, she gets to ride in the truck. We go somewhere. She gets carried around. It's uh, one of her more pleasurable experiences. When we get this thing out, they usually get excited. Take a look at the bottom. Construction is good. It's got meshing for cooling. Does get a little bit hot for her, but she's you know, long hair, big dog. Stitching is really good. On here, the center pieces are only single stitched, but so far no issues. The edging trim. So a, a single stitch and it feels a little bit light, but it, it's held up well. Large plastic buckles. All of these are separate pouches with the molly and stuff. The handles are reinforced stitched. Same here on the D-ring hook. The poopy bag holder. All in all, good product. Highly recommended. Dogs are one of the the key factors of my my survival plan. So having a way for them to carry their load is is important and they can help out in other, you know, like adding this shock cord. I can throw my gloves in there. She'll carry them. She walks right next to me. I could even put uh, like a shotgun scabbard or something like that, a machete. She can definitely carry her load. All right. Ready to go? So that's what I got. I All in all, I, I like the one tigress dog setups. No issues so far. The dogs haven't had any issues with them. And as far as a way to help me with my preparedness, these things do a great job. So hers is balanced really well. All right, we'll come back with more reviews. Got a bark box coming soon. We'll see what they say about that. Thanks for making it this far. And uh, consider giving us a like, subscribe. Cheers. Stay prepared, everybody.